What this product here is, is it's called a bow draw winch. And what this is used for is for drawing a bow back for doing tuning. And what you do is you slip the handle into here and then you can hook your, your hook onto your D loop. And what you can do then is you can draw this bow back. You want to set your clicker. Okay, and then what you can do is you can put your arrow on your string and you want to always make sure you do this in a safe way. Don't never go in front of this bow when you're pulling this back or anyone else. And what you can do with this is you can draw this back and when it gets so far back you can see where your drop away rest is starting to pick up. And you can watch your cam and you can actually hit your your cam and you can fine tune that cam when you got your cam right to where it hits the, the draw stop that's that's your dead spot and what you do is you can take a paint pen and you put a mark on the shaft and once you got the mark on the shaft like on trophy taker rests and most drop aways you from that mark there you start letting this bow down and what they recommend is at least two inches of travel on that and you want that rest to be out of the way and then you can measure that and I mean you can get this exact and on two cam bows when you draw them back here you can draw back until you touch your stop on the bottom and then you can see if your top cam is hitting the stop at the same time and that's one way of checking your timing and adjusting it the way you want it but then at least you can do it and it's easy you don't have to sit here and, and have two people and try and do all these adjustments and another thing you can do with it is all the sight tape programs that are out there. You need to get your measurements at a full draw. And this way you can measure from your peep sight to your arrow and then from your peep to your front sight, which is needed for those programs in order to print out a sight tape. And another thing that we use it for is your bow. You can tell if your bow is tippy or not. And you can use it for putting your V-bar, stabilizer weights, and weighting your bow so this bow sets level on its own which is really nice because then when you're when you're shooting that bow is level you know so that's just one of the many things and you can use them you can put your scale on here if you have a short enough scale here you can put that on and draw this bow back for checking the poundage and what's nice about it is you can it'll pull up to 90 pounds so anyone can use it it doesn't have to be a person that can draw 90 pounds so there's a lot of uses for this thing especially in a shop and so that's something if you're into tuning bows you can check your cam lean if you know at a full draw you can see if your cam is lean or not so you can put twists into either side of this axle to to get your cam so it lines up so there's a lot of stuff you can do with it so anyhow that's that's what it is it's called a bow draw winch hello i'm tony berg and i'm here today to show you how to use a bow draw winch for getting some measurements for archery site programs and there's several different programs on the internet that you can use for making sight tapes and this tool here works very well for getting those measurements which you're going to need in order to enter them into the programs and they all use pretty much the same same stuff so anyhow what I'm going to do is show you pretty much some of the measurements you got to have and so anyhow the first thing you want to do is put your bow into the holder here for the, rep, or for the grip and then the hook here, we put on the D loop. And then you can winch this back, get a little pressure onto it, and flip the catch on it. And then what we want to do is knock an arrow in here. Okay, now with the arrow knocked, you want to start cranking this bow back. And you want to make sure you keep an eye on your, like on this is a solo cam bow. And you want to watch your draw stop on this cam to make sure that you do not overdraw this bowl. You want to make sure that right when it comes to the stop, that's where you want to quit cranking it. So you can keep an eye on that. And I can see it coming around now. And right there. And that's what's nice about this is you can just, you can sit here and touch exactly where that is. And then you can flip this latch catch there. Now this bow is at full draw right now and now this is what you need for getting your measurements and you always want to make sure that this is pointed in a safe direction you don't ever want anyone being in front of the bow. This is, should be pointed down range. So anyhow what you need to do is you can take this now and you can measure from your sight pin 
to the center of your peak is one of the measurements you have to have. And this is 25 and 3 quarters. So that's one of the measurements. And the other one that you need to do is from the sight pin down to the center of the arrow shaft, which on this bow is, and to the, I'm sorry, but to the center of the peep also. And so you want to go from the center of the shaft to the center of the peep. And we're looking at 3 and 3 eighths. So those two measurements there are something that you're going to need for making a site program. And really it's that simple. And I mean, you can check. Now another thing you can do with it, as long as we've got it here, is this has a drop-away rest on it. And so what you can do with this drop-away rest, I'm going to get a marker. Okay, what you can do with this, now that this bow is at full draw, and this is a trophy taker rest, you can put a mark right on the shaft, right on the rest there. And they recommend two inches of travel before that rest starts going down. So that's really important to be within that reason. So now you start backing this off and just keep watching that rest. And as soon as it moves down, there it's moving down, right there. So this pole, you can see right now, is traveling a long ways. So the rest, what it is, is the rest is a little too tight. This has got, it's got like four inches of travel before that rest ever moves. So it's staying up a little bit too long. And so what you can do is you can change your length on your, your cables here and stuff. But that's just exactly why this is such a nice tool because you can check this so easy. And then you know that you could have some contact problems with your fletching or whatever. I guess it's that simple, but there's many other things you can check with this tool, so don't be afraid to look it up on bowhanger.com. That's where you can find these. And like I say, that's just one of the many uses we got for these. And we'll have some more in other areas like stabilizers and things like that that we'll show you. So you have a good day shooting, and give us a call if you need one of these. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is on a dual cam bow, how to check the timing on the cam. What the timing is, is to make sure that these wheels are turning over at the same time as each other. So you don't have one that's rolling over sooner or later than the other one. It makes your bow perform a lot better and it definitely makes it feel a lot better when you're shooting. So anyhow, what I'm going to show you is how to check that. And what you do with this, the bow draw winch is you just set your handle in here and put the string into the D-loop. I can win this battle here. There we go. And then you start cranking your bow back. And what you want to watch is like on the Hoyt here, you've got a flat spot here and that's your stop. And there's also a draw stop down there. So what you want to do is watch and see one of these is going to eat, hit before the other one or hopefully they hit at the same time, which is kind of what you're after. Some high-end shooters like to have the top one just a little bit behind the bottom one, which it's not a big deal if they're really close. So what we're having right here, you can see this stop is coming around. Now it's touching the string right there. Okay, and your top one up here is just a little bit, if you notice, it's just a little bit behind the bottom one. And actually that's pretty good. That's acceptable on these because that's where they seem to shoot the best. It seems to keep your, your arm up better at a full draw than, than if it was the other way around. So that's, that's a good thing. But if that wasn't on, what you would have to do then is figure out which one of these cables you would have to put a twist into or out of and you would have to put this bow in a press and I guess trial and error you'll figure out which way you gotta go with it especially after the first time you do it you'll probably give it a couple twists or whatever and you'll see but you'd be amazed how many bowls come out of the stores that are not timed brand new and then after you shoot a bowl a hundred shots or so two hundred shots after you buy it it's really a good idea to check it again because it's really common for those strings once they get shot in they settle in and it may go out of whack on you and then normally once you time it after that it's usually pretty good for quite a while until your strings are no good anymore so anyhow that's something that you can do with this draw winch which is really handy to use so anyhow I guess we'll move on to the next thing and that's going to be stabilizers Okay, we're going to use it now for checking the draw length too. And what you can do is you draw the bow back 
all the way till it hits the stop on here. Okay, now that we got it drawn back and it's all in the stops and it's that full draw, what you want to do is you want to make a mark on that arrow shaft right here in line with the bolt for the rest. And actually this one comes about right where the insert is, right behind the head there, so I don't even really have to mark it. Okay, so that'll be good there. And what you want to do then is take your arrow off, and now you can measure, per se, if you had a mark on there, you would measure from that to the throat of your arrow. And this one is about 27 and a quarter. So then what you want to do is add an inch and three quarters to that. And that would be 27 and a quarter, would be three quarters, it would be 28. We got 29 inches. So this bow is set at 29 inches. And that's what your draw length is on this bow. And you can check all your bows the same way. And it's really helpful because a lot of times bows aren't what they say they are. And not only that, but once you find that real comfortable draw length, it's a really good idea to keep track of that, especially if you shoot more than one bow or if you go to buy a new bow, that you can keep that same draw length because you don't want to change that if it's working for you. And don't always trust what they say on them because that's, none of them are on all the time. You just, it's a good idea to check them. Another thing you can see now, we're, we're getting into the stabilizer thing. Now you can see this is a hunting bow. If you guys have seen all these target shooters with all the stabilizers and whatnot on their bows, well, there's a reason they're on there. And the reason they're on there is you can see it right here at full draw. Look what this bow wants to do. It wants to fall to the right. That's because most of your weight from your sights and everything is on this side of the bow. And this bow wants to fall that way. And if you want to change that, which really it makes it nice for shooting, is you can get the V-bar setups that come off from the side of your bow, and then you can start adding weight to a bow. And we'll show you one of those bows in a second here. All right, now we're going to show you a way of helping balance your bow out for shooting. And we're doing it on this target bow, but really, I use them on my hunting bows too. And I'll tell you what, it really makes a difference on how you shoot. If your bow can be balanced out and you set your stabilizers up the right way, there's a lot of people out there that have stuff bolted on their bows, but they don't really, they just throw them on there, you know. And I guess it's better than nothing, but a lot of times they could really fine tune it a lot better. And that's where this will help you fine tune it, especially using a winch here. You can draw this bow back and you can see that. This bow draw back to a full draw. Now this bow's at a full draw right now. And you can see it wants to it wants to go over to the right. It's because your sight and everything is hanging on this side of the bow. And if you want to combat that, what you can do is you can get these setups here. And like I said, you can do this for a hunting bow too, and it will make your hunting bow shoot great. And you can get these stabilizer systems, and you add a little bit of weight on this stabilizer down here, and you can see now this bow, it really wants to set now. And if you watch your level in your sight, you can actually get it so this bow will sit on its own, and it will sit right there. This one could use just a touch more. It's really close, but it's not exactly perfect. But it's still way better than what it was. But you can add weight to these. There's different weights you can buy. I mean, there's several companies out there, and they should be doing this instead of me because they're the guys making this stuff. But like it or not, that's something that most people don't talk much about. And this is just something, and it's a personal preference, but I mean, this will make your bow hold and balance a lot better at a full draw. And this is one way of checking it when it's at a full draw. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to do. You're just kind of going just strictly by feel. And this actually shows that the bow itself is going to set pretty level. So anyhow, this is one of the things you can use it for also. So good luck with your shooting.